Welcome to Life on Sabuyan. Today we're going to visit a school for the indigenous people of all ages. And you'll see there is no school building. But the people show up to learn. And this is it. Have the teachers there in the orange and blue shirts. And how long have you been uh, teaching here? I was uh, accepted in ALS during 1999, but he was uh, employed in ALS 19. Uh, I mean 2019. I am 2019. Uh, 2009. Oh, and so how long have how long have the IPs been coming since, here? Uh, no, since 2009, he was already teaching here. Wow. And. Uh, for how many years? Oh, they were there up there in Tabuilanan ah. because uh, they uh, live here just recently. I mean, two years ago oh. that they came here. They go down from the mountain, but before they really go up there in Tabuilanan. Wow. So when four piece in the four Pantawid, uh, program, Pantawid Filipino program. Uh, implemented by the government, uh, they were forced to go down so that their children can go to school. Because before, oh. most of them really did not go to school since the, they are very far and they are right. up in the mountain. So mostly, most all of them did not go to study. So you would like to put a shelter up somewhere? Oh, right? yes, yes. Especially it's here, it's okay here because they participate if they are here. Right. If it's not they are they will participate. But if we go out there, usually most of them do not go because they have small children. Uh -oh. and they should bring their children when they go to classes. Right. So that's why they prefer to be here since this is their community. Right. <laughs> yes. Okay. We are in the lowlands. They can sit anywhere. <laughs> right. <laughs> Look at them, they have their children. Yeah, that's with them. nice. So that's why, well, at least they, they go to study. They study at the same time, their children are with them. So they can participate. They can really attend classes. If they participate or we can the classes here in their community. And how often do you meet here? Uh, it's hard to say we just only meet once a week because oh. during other days we are also in other places oh. in other barangay yes so we have a schedule by uh, on monday uh, by monday we are in their population the, the place where you were oh. yesterday so by tuesday we are here wednesday we are in tagilos thursday we are in lumbang weste wow. barangay holies and by friday we are in tambihang Wow. So that's why we have only one uh, time in a week that we meet there here in Tambahaw. Maybe I'll go Thursday and see you there too. <laughs> uh, the, but uh, sad to say, our uh, learners there only one <laughs> oh. remained because the other learners went to Manila to work. So this is oh. our problem usually because most of our learners did not uh, continue their studies because uh, sometime or uh, in mid year. Most of it is especially these are families, or they have already families they have to feed, so they have to go to work, they have to find a job. So sometimes they right. go to Manila and find a job, so we have no learner. Right. Especially, we have one learner that left yesterday, uh, yesterday or last week, 
they go to Batangas. They went to Batangas oh. because the husband was working there, so she was brought there by the hus by her husband. Wow. So we have one <laughs> learner who left again. But anyway, we are accepting them every time they want to return to school or they want to re-enroll, we, al we always accept them. That's nice. That's cool. This is a small little community just not far from the national road but totally hidden from everybody's behind the Brungai. Not from the hall, but uh, some type of meeting place. <laughs> so these adults want to learn to read and do math. That's pretty cool. And the school is seeking a donor to make a shelter at the elementary school or a shelter here. And by shelter, I mean just some sticks holding up a roof and some area to sit. We're not talking concrete or anything. We're talking just a Kubo type shelter. If you uh, go back in my YouTube channel, you'll see the Taguan Learning Center. That was a pretty good uh, structure there, but it got blown down by a hurricane. So it's no longer there. No one's teaching up there anymore. Beautiful, beautiful Philippines. Oh. There's the water for the little community here. So, I'm going to go to the 
Not to, I'm, I'm These people live a four-hour walk from here. 